everybody and welcome to another unboxing and a review. Today I will be taking a look at the third Doctor's screwdriver. Um, that was John Pertwee. And this is in the re-release packaging. So here it is. This is the packaging. You've got the anniversary Doctor Who up there. In the nice like um, got old time vortex in the actual text which looks really really nice um, let's have a look underneath the box because it's kind of all plastic apart from bits at the bottom and the back you've got a picture of the doctor and uh, how long he was the doctor f uh, how long he was actually he actually played the doctor electronic third doctor's onyx screwdriver um, BBC they'll go there and the character options They'll go down there with sound effects. So yeah, um, the actual it, the screwdriver is encased entirely out of plastic, which allows you to really have a look at um, the toy inside the packaging. So that's really really good. Collect them all, electronic. So that's the front of the box. Uh, as I said, all of the it just plastic all around the edge. So you can actually have a look inside the box at the screwdriver. On the back you've got the Doctor Who um, logo up there. And then underneath here you've got... Oh, what does that say? Is that insert? The Tenth Doctors. So it basically just tells you whose screwdrivers are in the range as a, a re-release. And a picture of them all underneath. Now I have... I have... This one and Tom Baker's, so I will probably be doing a review of his um, in a couple of days. But you've got, you know, the Ten Doctors and the future version of his screwdriver. Um, under the, then underneath that, you've just got a load of stuff about, you know, don't eat it because you could choke. And that's about it for the back. Now, let's open it up and actually have a look at the screwdriver. And here it is. Pertree screwdriver. Now it looks really good. Um, it's quite a nice, you know, it's got quite a nice um, hold to it. It kind of slips easily into your hand. Uh, I'd, I really like it. it. Looks great. Let's start at the top and work our way down. At the top, you've got um, the head of the screwdriver with like an emitter in in the head. Um, now I'm Unfortunately, the head is um, sculptured out of this kind of like plastic, which is really easy to bend and uh, squash, which is a bit of a bad thing because you know it's it's not that sturdy at the top, but it still looks great. Um, around the edges, you've got holes that look like where things have been screwed in, so that looks really good there. Um, looking around the edge, again with the holes where there will be some screws. On the back, you've just got the other side of the head with like a little indent on the on that side. Now this is going to be the hard bit because it it kind of makes a noise. So I'll just quickly show you that. I'll pull this down. Don't know how loud that is, but I don't know if you can actually. See there, but the paint has kind of rubbed off off the um, top bit here, which is kind of a, a bit of a shame because the paint is kind of like transferred onto all the red. But apart from that, the head looks really, really great. And when you pull this all the way to the bottom, a black the black part of the head, it's like a neck, is. Um, revealed and that looks really really good so that's the head and the neck now let's have a look underneath the head you've got a red like um, a, a band around the neck there and underneath that you've got it kind of like what you find in uh, a barber's like that and it like spins round kind of looks strange now that is actually just um, it's not painted on it's just 
um, attached on with a bit of plastic there, but it looks alright. It's not peeling off or anything, so it, look, it looks really good. Underneath that, you've got um, a bit more just like part of the screwdriver. It's got a bit of uh, outline there. Then underneath that, it's outlined in black with some indents that are also painted black underneath the um, the head there. On the handle bit, you've got quite a heavy area with straight black lines all the way around the edge. And on the bottom, you've got this sort of strange curvy thing. It like starts there and sort of like goes up and then stops there. Which is a bit strange, I don't know what that's for, you've got like a white thing there. But you know, it looks looks alright. Um, underneath that you've got a little uh, door here. Where you would put um, a battery. But, um, which is, and with this screwdriver, um, it's all included, which is quite good. And it's quite unusual for character options, but there we go. Now the door is hidden quite well it looks really nice and that is also a rarity with um, toys it's normally like a huge box with like screws everywhere and stuff like that but this is hidden really well and it looks great really blends in um, you've got like a little um, squared off corner here with a black part here looks like a bolt and then underneath is where the speaker is and all the information about the toy. Now we get on to the uh, sound effects. Now if you hold, if you pull down the part here of the screwdriver it makes a noise. Let's do that. And let go and that immediately stops the noise. And if you do that again there is uh, a new noise. So let's start again with that, pull it down, and then, now for the people out there that are quite um, eager eyed and are able to tell, that is actually the 10th Doctor's screwdriver noise. Ah, why, it was going so well. But yeah, they've added in. They've added the tenth Doctor's um, screwdriver noise, as you can see here, which is really annoying because all they have to do was find some clips with the screwdriver, like emit a noise and add that into the toy. But instead, they use the sound chip from the uh, and add the noise, but they didn't do that, they just used an old chip to put the 10th Doctor's effect in, which is really irritating because it was it looks really nice. I mean, it's not that irritating, I suppose, especially because it's a kid's toy, so kids might not be that aware to it, but f for collectors and people that, you know, want to use this, like as a collector's item, it's really irritating and it's kind of hard to get over. But, you know, it's not that bad. I'm sure we'll be able to cope with that. I'm sure we'll be able to cope with the noise that it makes. So, overall, what do I think to the toy? I think it's great. I really do think it looks great. It, it looks great. Handles great as well, they, it handles really well, it's really easy to pull down like that, it, it has got a few imperfections, for example the head is a little is, is made out of um, like a, a plastic that isn't that strong and you know it makes the old noises, well it makes new noises, but you know apart from that it's really great, it looks amazing and it will look amazing on display, so I can't wait to review Tom Baker's screwdriver so stay tuned for his review if you enjoyed this review please leave a like and I would really enjoy to have a read of your opinions in the comments uh, underneath this episode but that's about it from me 
If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next unboxing review. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.